Hey, what's going on, tribe? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I'm, I'm pulling from daily guidance from your angel's oracle deck. So let's see what messages come out. Don't forget, take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment. All right, never force the message to fit. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't force it, of course. And if you ain't with it, skip it. Okay, now. Please use um, discernment, y'all, most definitely because this is a collective reading. So you want to, you know, be mindful that not everything in the message may be for you. But however, if it fully resonates, kudos. So at the X um, card came out and you want to ask for help with a situation, okay? Um, I'm definitely feeling like... This can't be done in your own will. You're going to need your spiritual helpers to step in, okay? So as soon as you ask, they will immediately go to work on your behalf, okay? So your guides, your angels, they're um, governed by universal laws. And because you have free will, okay, um, you're allowed to make whatever choice you want. So they're not going to interfere with any of your decisions unless unless you ask for help okay so someone may not be asking it may not have even dawned on you to do it um but they are patiently waiting for your request all right and cupid comes out so it may be something involving love um hmm. Could be something around your own self love. I'm gonna pull tarot on that just to see what's going on. Matter of fact, let me just jump right in. Oh, you know what? It'd be like my head be chilling, straight chilling, right? Not falling in my face as soon as I get the reading. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I don't want to be that one. Keep pulling and keep doing all this. You know how that be. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But let's see. Ooh, all these cards and just fell. What is my collective asking about? What are they asking about? The lovers in the reverse. Okay, so there's some type of disharmony or imbalance here between you and someone else. All right. The Knight of Cups. And this person may be coming in. Of course, they're in their night energy. They may be trying to charm you <laughs> or um, romance you or they're trying to figure out some type of creative way to come in. Okay. And, um, and how I'm hearing it is like to fix this, you guys could have had some type of falling out. Okay, the Empress comes out in the reverse. Tell me why the Empress is in the reverse. Nine of Cups. So, I feel like this could be two dynamics. One... You could be kind of agitated here and then falling out could be over this Empress reverse. Some type of um, uh, person that could be a mother figure, okay? But I feel like on another dynamic, it could be, you know, a feminine energy who is kind of like maybe operating from a lower space, Okay. Yeah, operating from a lower space here. And and it may be because of the simple fact that, you know, whatever the disharmony may have been, um, this person is not happy. This feminine energy is not happy, okay? They're not content with whatever happened. It's not setting well with them. Um, and usually this person is very nurturing, very caring, and it's like they're not they're not doing that, you know, very loving. Yeah, three of wands comes out. And what I'm seeing here is that then the three of swords comes out in the reverse. 
So what I'm saying here is that somebody is just like, you know, wanting to move forward, you know, like, you know what, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to expand. I'm ready to um, see some different results from this. I'm ready to heal this situation. I'm ready to reconcile. All right. <laughs> and this Empress Reverse is kind of like, nah, four cups in the reverse position. Is discontent, you know. Probably taking a break, you know, just like mm, let me just kind of like step back from this for a second, contemplating. Um, so yeah, ask for help with this situation, okay, to help you, you know, make whatever choice you need to make with this. Tell me about the cupid card. Yeah, Queen of Swords up right, like you definitely could be. In this energy, <laughs> very direct, very assertive, guarded, okay. Um, is it something that is making this feminine feel insecure? Is this why they're guarded? Yeah, five of swords. So whatever happened, whatever the argument was, is something surrounding that conflict that makes this empress feel um, not so empress, emper, em, empress, <laughs> I guess that's how you would want to say it, okay? And why is that? Five of Cups comes out because it's a trigger. So something could have happened in this empress past, something that they maybe once grieved over. Um, whatever the situation was or the conflict was, it brought this out of this person, okay? And I feel like it's like a subconscious thing. They feel let down. Thank you. They feel let down. And this is what it is. Wow. I'm feeling like um, this empress could be drained emotionally. Six of Pentacles. Page of Cups. And then the King of Swords in the reverse. So, um, yeah, I'm seeing people's energies like flip-flopping around this mug, okay? So a masculine energy could have been very cold, all right? Um, really lacking some type of direction or they could have made decisions here. Um, that wasn't actually, it was irrational. That's how I feel about it, irrational decisions. And now this masculine is trying to be generous, you know, trying to give, trying to support, coming in again with the Knight of Cups energy, trying to, you know, you see how the Page of Cups is, trying to come in with, you know, communicating here, um, trying to come up with creative ways to do it, it, it. And this empress is just like, I'm not with none of that. But it's because, again, whatever happened in the past, this empress feels let down. Okay. Um, ask for help. Yeah, the emperor in the reverse. You guys are mirroring each other's energy. So that may be what's happening. That's where the flip-flop goes in. This is definitely not about any any karmic or anything like that. I'm seeing here. Yep, it's about two of cups. It's about you and your partner, you and your friend, you and um, your lover. You guys are empress reverse, emperor reverse. Okay, so you got to get the balance back. Um, they may have been very stubborn again, and it's just like it triggered you, okay? And um, maintain your confidence. Let me see something. Anything else? You got to let go of your past most definitely and have confidence, okay? Um, move forward. You don't have to have confidence necessarily, you know, in yourself. It's more about you having confidence in the divine with helping you 
with whatever it is that you need help with in this situation, okay? Um, and you know that God works through you, works with you in all ways, all right? So remember that. Now lean upon your spiritual team, lean upon your ancestors, your angels to help you with this, okay? And have confidence that it's going to get done. All right, y'all. Peace.